Go. My name is Ian Stewart and I'm the Commissioner of the Queensland Police Service in Australia. Uh, and it's an absolute pleasure to be here in Phoenix, uh, Arizona. And uh, Commissioner Stewart, one of the questions I had is uh, in your speech here at today's conference, uh, it was curious, you, you brought up social media and uh, how uh, uh, that the value that it has in law enforcement. In, in your 40 years, um, have you seen anything like that? Can you talk a little bit about what the value uh, social media and the impact it's had on law enforcement? Absolutely. Um, I personally believe that the advent of social media is one of the greatest challenges facing law enforcement across the world. But at the same time, I believe it's also one of the greatest opportunities. Uh, about four years ago, our department embraced social media. Uh, we now have about 50,000 followers on Twitter, but we all have almost a half a million followers on Facebook. Uh, it's one of the largest law enforcement social media sites in the world. And that all came about because of a tragedy and a disaster that occurred uh, those years ago. Uh, and we had to embrace it because uh, by providing a single point of truth for the, for the community, uh, that, re that raised the confidence of the community in times of stress and trauma. So did you actually use it during the crisis to manage the crisis, to get information out or get intelligence in from the community? Uh, at the start, it was mainly one-way traffic out, so we were providing huge amounts of information, up-to-date information, uh, straight out of our crisis meetings to the whole of the state. So uh, that became the single point of truth. Where we're moving uh, rapidly now is to a social media presence that allows the community to come to us more often. So while they can come and ask us questions, we actually want them to also give us information, intelligence, uh, and that includes video footage, it includes photos, much like the public reporting that happens every day right across the world. So in, in terms of crime fighting and crisis management, you've seen the value there. Uh, what about, can you talk a little bit about how you, you uh, might use it in terms of you know, marketing or the brand management for your department? Absolutely, it's one of the most important things that all police departments have to, to recognize that there are those out there who will continually strive to attack policing brands um, to try and drive the confidence down in the community of the ability of police departments to manage uh, and appropriately deal with all of those issues that are important to the community, not just crime. Um, it's about safety and security. It's about terrorism. It's about being able to rapidly uh, advise the community in times of crisis. So I think it's the responsibility of all police departments to really engage with their communities through this medium uh, because that's what the that's what about half of the population are doing every day, uh, and I'm talking about the younger people in our communities who use smartphone technology, who use tablet technology, uh, and that's how they do their business. That's how they interact with their friends. Police departments should be no different from that. Thank you very much. My pleasure.